24-year-old Las Vegas resident Chelsea Ake worked at a health spa called Rejuvenice in Henderson, Nevada as a manager, offering different products and services pertaining to health and well-being. Some of those services included chemical pills, laser treatments, and the use of cryotherapy. Now let's talk a little bit about cryotherapy. Cryotherapy involves placing users inside a chamber similar to a phone booth at sub-zero temperatures for just a minute or two to relieve pain. Oftentimes, athletes who have long used ice baths to ease their aches and pains have turned to whole body cryotherapy as a quicker way to recover after exercise or competition. The treatment also is promoted as a way to quickly lose weight, improve healing, and increase blood circulation. Leaving some salons to offer cryotherapy facials as an anti-aging remedy, liquid nitrogen has long been used to treat and remove skin blemishes such as warts. On October 19th of 2015, after closing up the business for the day, Ake used a cryotherapy chamber as she often did according to her friends and family. The next day, the opening employee noticed that her car was still at the business parked and noticed some of her things at the front desk. When she went to the chamber to see if she were using it, she noticed Ake slumped down in the fetal position at the bottom of the chamber, not moving. The employee immediately called 911, in which paramedics were immediately dispatched to the location at 8846 Eastern Avenue. When paramedics arrived, they found an unconscious Ake at the bottom of the cryotherapy chamber, but there was nothing they can do. She was pronounced dead at the scene. Her body was rock solid, according to homicide detectives. She was transported to the Clark County Coroner's Office for autopsy. During the subsequent investigation, homicide detectives learned that Ake had texted her boyfriend who was living in Hawaii at the time that she was going to jump into the cryo chamber for a few minutes. That is the last known contact anybody had with her. She had also in previous weeks let her disdain be known for the fact that the machine seemed to be not functioning properly and that liquid nitrogen was leaking out into the chamber at a faster rate than it should normally have been. A month later, the coroner's report came out about the case and it was determined that Chelsea Ake died from asphyxiation. She died in an oxygen poor environment, according to a spokesperson with the Clark County Coroner's Office. Normal air contains about 21% oxygen, but the air in a cryo chamber can get down to as low as 5%. No crime was suspected and the cause of death was ruled as an accident, possibly by operator error. She was buried in her home state of Hawaii. And currently we are in Henderson, Nevada. We are right on the edge of Las Vegas. And if you look at where this cricket telephone place is, uh, that's where Rejuvenice used to be and that is where Ms. Ake died. They were shut down subsequently on October 27, 2015, they reopened the following month, but I'm assuming with the publicity of what happened and occurred here, they quickly closed up shop. There is a website, rejuvenizespa.com, and it on the website, it does claim that there is still a functioning office on the other side of town on Rabo Avenue. And uh, it's a very weird end to this story that Nobody was really punished simply for the fact that it was determined that it was, quote, employee error. Uh, it is said that it was Miss Ake's fault and it was just a accident. It was just a horrible accident. And if there's any solace that the family had from this horrible accident, it was that the coroner said, again, that she did die within seconds of entering the cryo chamber. Just uh, one of those weird things that happens, uh, just accidents. You know, in a country of well over 320 million people, you're gonna find these weird stories online. So, a rest in peace to Miss Ake and just a uh, horrible thing that happened. All right, guys, uh, Lamont at large, I'm signing out. Peace.